bitch admitted that wearing its clothing makes you a total prick. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was this week's News of the Week, brought to you by well Friday Slide. Well done. In the studio, we have a very good friend of mine named Corey Landis. Corey, welcome to the studio. Hi, darling. Thanks. And your first appearance on Friday's Live. Fancy that, huh? You were a little nervous. Tyler. I saw you today, and you are like... You know me. Yeah, Corey's not really nervous, because he's a performer, but... Which I've seen. Corey didn't really... Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Corey didn't really know he was going to be on the show until, right there. like, last night. What's, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we thanks for the, uh, the notice. The yeah, you know? Well, we had talked about it all week, and he just didn't really know for sure until last gotcha. week. Gotcha. Of course. I'm During sure a rehearsal. It. You're in a, a play this quarter. Yeah, I am. Good. I just it's... wanted to make sure my sources were right on. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> Angels Man. in America. Yes, Angels in America. It goes up uh, November 3rd through the 13th. Great. And so, okay, tell us about your musical. Career, my musical? Your career. Yeah. Oh, my musical career? How long have you been playing piano? You, um, you write songs? I, I've been playing since I was about in first grade, and I've been writing songs, although bad ones, for a good while. Uh, actually, until yesterday, they were all bad. You wrote a uh, in, And I started about fifth grade. Um, so. How many songs have you written? I've written about, about 65, really? um, but like, you know, 30 of them are just completely terrible. Yeah. Do we get to hear one of those tonight? Yes, I prepared, I, I went, sing -along. I went yeah. through the 65 and I did an informal poll <laughs> and I wanted to find the worst one and this is what everybody voted on. Perfect. So who are so some I, of your major influences? Major influences? Um, early on, obviously, you know, Elton John, uh, Billy Joel, uh, then Tom Waits of recent, uh, Randy Newman, Great. David Bowie, Elvis Costello. Okay, we'll play a song for us. All right, thanks, Tyler. Yeah, no, thank you. Man, is this really Friday's Live? Man, it's like a dream come true. I feel like a princess. <laughs> heart deflating as you look for a thesaurus to look up the words for the new brand of pain you feel you crumble up horoscopes berating me for being a taurus you binge and purge wishing I was under your wheels Favorite mistake, and that. 
is there anywhere we can see you play? What's that? Is there anywhere we can see you play? I, I wish that were the case. Uh, I'm doing the show right now, which eats up a lot of time, but hopefully when that's over, probably next quarter I'd like to do something for just look look for me. I'd, I'd like people to come and hear the Great. stuff. Well, well, we'll let everybody know. Oh, thank you. That's and right. Later in the show, Corey's going to play us out. Sure. So thank you very much, Corey. Thank you, guys. Thanks I appreciate it. We're going to take a break. We'll come back with uh, Money, Penny, and Cents. Aren't you tired of the healthy life? Would you like to look repulsive and smell even worse? Well, now you can. Introducing Smoke and Choke, the product that makes you sicker quicker. With Smoke and Choke, you can enjoy more private moments in public. Add more color to those bland white teeth. Just look at the difference. But wait, that's not all. Roast your tender lungs to a crispy perfection. The results are amazing. And how about that flavor? Tastes just like charcoal. Mm. But without all the mess. Yes, you'll be glad you made Smoke and Choke a part of your life. Just ask one of our satisfied long-term customers. I just, I just can't help myself. Don't wait. Act now. Get your Smoke and Choke today. Don't sell yourself short. Be smart. Don't smoke. 